everyone. Today in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and update the BIOS of this AB350M Pro 4. And for that, we're gonna go to ASRAC's website and uh, download the 2.5 version of the BIOS. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So just type in ASRAC in your search bar and uh, the first website that pops up is gonna be ASRAC official site, go there. From there, we're gonna to go to support up top, click on it, and then go ahead and type your model number for your motherboard and hit search. Here, we're gonna to go to downloads. Under downloads, scroll up and you'll see here the BIOS version for that specific motherboard and it'll list all the versions that are available for you to download and today we're going to be downloading the 2.5 this is the latest one from uh, ASRock we're going to go ahead and download this hit OK and then go to your download file and uh, go ahead and copy it we're going to what we're going to do is we're going to copy this onto a USB drive, but the USB drive needs to be formatted FAT32. Otherwise, your BIOS will not recognize the files in there. So, and as you can see here, it's uh, clearly described here also in the information about how to upgrade your BIOS. So go ahead and format your USB drive to FAT32, and then go ahead and drop that new revision that we just downloaded. And I had uh, copied this previously, so we're just going to paste it. And I already have the 2.4 version of the BIOS in this USB key also, just in case 2.5 doesn't work out. And you can have as many of those in there as you want. It's not going to mess the BIOS up. It'll read all the files in there and give you the relevant results, as we'll see here in a second. So go ahead and drop that 2.5 in there, the BIOS revision. And uh, let's go ahead and restart the computer and get into the BIOS. Hit delete or F2 and now we're in the BIOS. As we can see, we have currently the 2.4 version of the BIOS. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and install the 2.5. And but before we do that, you can see that I have the uh, CPU at 4 gigahertz and the RAM sticks at 32 megahertz. So go to tool under BIOS. Under tool selection, you're going to have the instant flash option. That is to flash it from your USB drive. See, there you go. The BIOS already read the files. We have the 2.4 and the 2.5 revisions, and we're going to be updating it to 2.5. So hit yes. And this will take a minute, well, or maybe five minutes, but I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up so we don't have to sit through that. And uh, once it's done, we're gonna go ahead and restart the computer again. And we're gonna reboot. And we're gonna go straight into it. So there we go. Just to verify, we have the 2.5 version installed. We uh, flashed BIOS to 2.5 and as you can see the RAM and the CPU are at default values let's go ahead and save and exit we, before we do anything like overclocking wise let's just go into Windows and see if it's stable as it is so we have a base to work off of I'm gonna go into the AMD Ryzen Master suit and uh, just to check everything is correct as we can see the CPU is at 3.4 gigahertz which is the default and the RAM is sitting at 2133 megahertz. So everything's at default as we see and it's working. But I do want to go ahead and stress test this just to make sure the BIOS is stable at default settings. For my methodology, I do five passes back to back of the Cinebench because this really does test your CPU. Many times I have Overclocks fail at first pass, second pass, third pass. But if you can make it to fifth pass, you're good. So let's go back into the BIOS and start messing around with first. Let's mess around with the RAM speeds here. 
and let me show you what the differences are, what this BIOS update did. Now, if you went to the XMP2 profile at the 2.4 revision, you didn't have all these options. The maximum speed was at 3200 megahertz. Now you can see we can choose all the way up to 4000 megahertz. But, of course, you have to have a RAM stick that can actually go up that far. Since I have a 3200 rated uh, RAM stick, I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can get 3200 megahertz with this new BIOS. We're leaving the CPU alone at default setting and we're setting our RAM to 3200 megahertz. We'll do the RAM first and then go back to the CPU once we find a stable speed for the RAM. Okay, let's see. Oh, well, that didn't work. So without even overclocking the CPU and just putting the RAM at 3200 megahertz, it didn't work. Let's up the voltage on the RAM a little bit more and see if that's gonna fix it. Even though we didn't have to do this at all with the 2.4 revision. But uh, let's go ahead and try it. Uh, save and exit. Let's uh, reload back into Windows. And, uh, um, well, we got stuck. <coughs> So that didn't work either. So 3200 megahertz on the RAM is not working with the new BIOS revision. Um, let's go ahead and lower the uh, RAM speed to see what's the stable speed that this BIOS is going to achieve. Um, let's try 2933. Again, we're not touching the CPU. The voltage is at 1.35 for the RAM. Let's go ahead and uh, boot into the Windows, but since Last time it couldn't get in, it's trying to attempt some repairs, but we don't need to do all that because I know there's nothing wrong with the windows. Anyways, here we are back in the Ryzen, uh, just to check everything is fine. As we can see, the RAM is at 2933, CPU is at default. And let's go ahead and try the uh, five back-to-back -back runs of Cinebench. One, it passed. Two, it's finished, it passed. Three, I think we're gonna stop here at three. That's good enough for now. We can go back into the BIOS. Now we have a stable overclock on the RAM at 2933. Before messing with the CPU frequencies, I wanna go ahead and default the RAM speed to its original 2133, just so we can establish, just like we did with the RAM, the highest speed we can get on the CPU this time. And I'm just gonna dial in the numbers that were stable with the BIOS revision 2.4. Let's see if these are gonna work. And we have the, as you can see in Windows, just to verify, four gigahertz on the CPU. And the RAM is at stock speeds at 2133 megahertz. And uh, let's go ahead and test this too. Back into the Cinebench, we go. Again, let's see if it's gonna pass. Five tests, one, Two. Of course, these are sped up, so we don't have to sit through all this for minutes at a time. So where we are right now is 2933 megahertz is stable with the default settings on the CPU, and CPU is fine with the RAM at default settings. So now, let's go ahead and try both RAM and the CPU overclock. Now we have our CPU at four gigahertz and we know the RAM was stable at 2933. Let's see if these two overclocks gonna work together. And let's go ahead and check it out. So here we are back in Cinebench doing the five pass tests and four gigahertz on the CPU and 2933 in the, on the RAM, but mm -hmm. nope, we crashed again. Okay, so obviously with this new revision i'm not able to get the uh, speeds on the ram and the uh, cpu together so there's no reason to try it any longer at this point and i'm going to just go ahead and roll back to revision 2.4 and it happens you know sometimes you get biases that do something else it corrects something but it messes something else up in the bios and uh, this is exactly the case but i had to try it you know we tried 2.5 
and it didn't work out this time. Now, obviously what we're gonna do is roll back and flash the BIOS back to 2.4. Let's go back and test everything once more as it was before. Back to square one we go. I flashed the BIOS to back to 2.4 uh, my CPU is at 4 GHz at 1.385 volts, 3875 volts, and my RAM is back at 3200 MHz. And uh, so the moral of the story today is, for my motherboard CPU RAM combo, this new BIOS did not work out. So I cannot recommend you to update at this point. And that's another thing, if you have a stable BIOS version, I like to stick with it. So. That's that. I hope it was helpful to some of you. Thanks for checking in. See you next time.